Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. Today we've got uh, a Cub Cadet push mower that we're going to, well the customer complaint is, is it won't start. So uh, he said he looked for the primer bulb, couldn't find it, uh, tried moving the handles and stuff back and forth to pump it. Uh, yeah, um, beautifully fine, works great, everything from last year. Uh, it did sit outside all winter long, so he uh, went to get it going this, this spring here, and no go. So we'll get you all over there and uh, get that thing up on the lift and show you all what we got going on. Alright y'all, here's the reveal of what was in the... Uh, the box. If you watched my short video I put out earlier this week, we uh, gave the measurements and everything, and told you, you know, guess what's in the box. Leave them. Told you leave it in the comments there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this box opened up. And I will say that this was given to me by a viewer and a friend. Uh, so let's. Uh, I already cut it open, but uh, let's get this out of the box here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a metal lid. You all probably can guess what's in here now, but that's what's that. Look at that. Finally got an ultrasonic cleaner. Something I could have been using a long time ago, but I just have a hard time spending my spending money on myself, I guess. Um, so there's that. There's a nice little basket that goes on the inside. Got a power cord here. Um, this looks like to be like a gallon and a half, something like that size. Be awesome. Put you know, you can probably get a couple carburetors in here, maybe three. But uh, yeah, you know, it's got some red stuff over it. I don't know if that's rust or something from packing, but yeah. There's what was in the box. All right, y'all. They, we got uh, this Cub Cadet push mower. Uh, I believe the customer bought it last fall or last summer. Used it. Um, left it sit outside all winter long. Went to use it this spring. Wouldn't start. And uh, he said that he can't find the primer bulb on it, but he doesn't remember there being one on it. So. Uh, he read the instructions, said to prime it and everything. It won't start. Uh, it is the effortless, effortless drive control speed. Uh, it's got the dead man handle here and then the pers like personal pace. Um, just They call it different names. Uh, give you guys a shot of the... There's the tag. Uh, basically an MTV push mower. So, yep. Uh, I'm gonna pull it off, pull it apart here, pull the uh, spark plug wire off, put my spark tester on it, and uh, we're gonna check to see if it's got spark, see if it'll even fire up for us, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, let's test your spark here. Got the inline spark tester on there. Uh, let's give her a couple pulls and see what she says. All right, well. Says we got spark, so um, there is fuel in it. I checked that. Uh, she's not even trying to start, so we're gonna get her up on the bench and we'll tear in to getting that carburetor off here. All right, y'all. We got this up push this uh, cup cadet push mower here up on the lift. Uh, pull the air cleaner out, cover off here. Uh, I mean, you can tell this thing's fairly new. There's just a spider web in there. Lay that up there. I mean, that air filter's absolutely brand new uh, get this carburetor off here take these three 10 millimeter head uh, bolts off and yes I know it's overkill using my earthquake impact but I just want to hurry up and get this done and toss them in there 
this little plastic cover comes off. Now there is an air crankcase breather goes in there. Just tuck that back down out of the way. A few leaves here. Now we got some linkages back in here. Oops, save that gasket. Get rid of the leaf and the spider webs. Pull this little, that's for the choke mechanism there. It's got the auto choke on it. And you should be able to rotate this. I know you guys can't see. Uh, let me move you guys around where you can see this a little better and I'm not blocking your view. We'll bring you right back. All right, y'all. This should be a little better angle for you to see what's going on here. Got this linkage right here. Uh, this is the governor. And there's a little, that little tiny spring on there. Pop that off. And then just pop that straight up out. You do have to rotate this throttle plate to uh, unhook it. There's a little catch right underneath of here that holds it in place. Got that one out. Uh, this is the governor or choke linkage here. Um, like I said, this has the auto choke on it, so we're not going to worry about that. It'll as soon as we get this slid out of here, it should uh, come right out. And I am going to take this crank crease breather off the back of the plate just to give me a air cleaner off the air cleaner housing, I should say, to give me a little more room. Reach down here, there's a little clamp on the fuel line, a little spring clamp. Rotate that a little bit, and we should be able to pull this out of here. Oh. Oh. Light's running away. Let me move the light. I know you guys can't see the fuel line over here, but get that pulled off of there. And of course, that linkage will not come off of there. So let me, uh, I forgot to grab something to pinch off this fuel line. Let me grab that and we'll work on getting, the, getting this off of here. Alright y'all, I ended up pulling that air cleaner, or uh, starter recoil, sorry, assembly off there with the fuel tank. It's simple, just the three bolts on top, it lifts off, fuel tank sits off down to the side there, you know. Uh, here's that crank case, can't crank case breather there. So what we're going to do is this, this governor will lift right up here. Oh, there we went. Popped it right up off, just be gentle doing it. Take the linkage off, set it off to the side, and then this carburetor will slide right off there. There you go. Uh, we're not gonna manually clean this one. Uh, we're gonna use the new gift from the uh, great, great uh, subscriber and viewer. So let's get over there and we'll uh, get that set up and we'll get this thing going. All right, guys. I'm sorry about that. I hit the wrong button on the camera. I didn't show uh, get to record tearing the carburetor all apart. Uh, in this clip here, you can see that the carburetor is already in the ultrasonic cleaner. It's been cooking away there for a little bit. Uh, you can see how um, dirty the water is already. Uh, you can see how the stuff's coming off the carburetor there. Uh, this thing's working awesome. I love it. Uh, Sorry, I I missed all that, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to it here and show you getting it out and how clean it is, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, y'all, uh, parts are done cooking, so let's uh, take this thing off of here. Find a place to sit it here out of the way. There's that. Got a pan over here with fresh, uh, fresh towel in it. So 
Wow, that thing. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but that thing is cleaner than when it come from factory, man. I'm telling you. Let's look at that main jet here. Yep, the hole in that main jet is nice and cleaned out. I will still use the torch tip cleaner on that. And I'll spray this all down with a little bit of uh, brake parts cleaner just to get some of the soapy residue off. And then I'll blow it all out with air compressor. But uh, yeah, I am uh, I am impressed. Um, I wish I would have got one of these things a long time ago. So, all right, I'm going to shut the camera off. And uh, I'll, like I said, I'll shoot this down with a little bit of parts cleaner, brake parts cleaner. And uh, we'll get back over there and get it reassembled and back on the mower. All right, y'all. Um, I got that carburetor all back together, blew it out there. Uh, yes, I know I did not pull this jet out of here. Uh, if it becomes a problem, then I'll come back and uh, take it off and clean it out good. So uh, let's get ready to put this thing back on here. I got my governor vein here. Get it ready to go back on. Get it back down in here. And. Oh, oh we're slip sliding away there, guys. this way get that down on there get that back through the carburetor there and then we'll get the uh, carburetor started back on these studs there we go all right now bring this linkage back up here and you guys should be able, might be able to see a little better this time, just bring it up. It drops right down in that little notch right there. And uh, we'll grab our little pliers. And we'll get this spring back over here. And hook it back in this little hole over here. Alright, there's that. that is backwards what do we do here nope there we go now we got it that little arm flipped up over the stop there so all right there we go that's just for when the motor actually starts it's kind of a dual setup I guess uh, it'll kick it over like that when the when the motor starts running it'll keep it open so Bring this back around here and get it hooked back into the into the carburetor here. It just slips right over that linkage right there. And that slides on. Yep, that all works good. Alright, now get our air, air box here. And Crankcase vent goes on there, and we'll put the fuel line on. I can get to the fuel line after I uh, get the tank back on there. It sticks out the side over here, so there's that. Get a little cover here that has all the nuts and bolts and stuff in it. Oh, hang on, Molly. We gotta get the old uh, goose kit. And it has a hole in it and there's a corresponding hole down here you only go on there one way well it'll go on there two ways but that'll help you get lined up what there we go 
There's that one. There's two nuts and a bolt. These go over the car two bolt nuts go over the carburetor studs. Bolt goes up here in this top bracket. Get that one started. Grab the impact here and just gently gently tighten them down. Like I said, I know it's way overkill, but yeah, I wanted to get it done, so. All right, so there's that, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna take my spark tester out of the way here. We don't need it no more. <clears throat> now the customer didn't say anything about uh, servicing the rest of it. No oil change or anything like that. No blade sharpening, uh, anything like that. I will take an air compressor and blow that stuff off. Um, let me grab the fuel tank here. We'll set it back down on. Get that stuff all lined up. Alright, there's that. That's all on there. We'll get this fuel line back on the carburetor here. Uh, you guys can't see that, but... Alright, there's that. And we'll wait for that bowl to fill up and uh, see if we got any leaks. Bring the pole start back up here while that's doing that. And it just drops down over these little bushings right here on the top of the motor. And there's three little acorns nuts that uh, hold that on. Super simple, guys. And ladies. I do have ladies that watch my channel, so. Anybody can do this stuff. Just pay attention, weight it comes off, the way it goes back on. Snug that up. Snug that up. Snug that up. And as of right now, there's no leaks. So uh, I'm going to take this cover over, the air compressor, blow it all out. Maybe give the uh, air cleaner a little shot. We'll get this thing down off the lift and uh, we'll give her a test start. We'll bring you all back when we're doing that. All right, y'all. Got it down off the lift here. Um, let's put the uh, spark plug wire back on. And uh, I'm going to double check the oil. I did check it before, but yep, she got oil in her. So let's, uh, let's see if this thing will fire up. a little smoky but I think the guy had it up on its side or something um, we got some smoke coming off the uh, muffler and exhaust there but uh, yeah there you have it um, I am sold on that ultrasonic cleaner uh, I mean I not that I had any questions that I wouldn't but uh, you know I uh, that was super simple I mean uh, <laughs> take the carburetor off throw it in turn it on walk away you know no more getting the chemicals on your hands and Fighting with the little holes, your little orifices and stuff like that, the torch tip cleaners and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm 100% sold. I wish I would have got one a long time ago. But uh, all right, I'm gonna pull this thing outside. Uh, I don't. The fuel that's in it was what he had in it. It might be old fuel. That might be another reason why it's smoking. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this thing outside, let it run for a little while, and then uh, we'll uh, ship it back to him. So, all right, y'all, there you have it. Uh, another successful repair. Uh, we're cranking these things out now. Uh, it's springtime. Everybody's wanting their stuff fixed. 
Uh, that ultrasonic cleaner is going to cut my time down, make everything super easy for me here. Uh, I wish I would have had one a long, long time ago. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I want to thank the uh, subscriber that uh, gave that to me, sent it to me. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to divulge who you are, uh, you can leave it in the comments or come into the live stream and, uh, you know, let everybody know uh, how great of a person you are and uh, how much I really appreciate it. Uh, so, all right, Cub Cadet push mower out the door. Uh, we're gonna we've got some more other stuff here coming in. Gonna get it going. Uh, we got uh, lots of videos coming out, guys. Uh, really do appreciate all my viewers. I hit uh, over a hundred thousand views uh, for lifetime of the channel. Uh, under under three hundred videos. I'm not exactly how many this will be. Uh, when this one comes out but uh yeah uh that's humbling people y'all um when i started this youtube channel i never thought that i would uh would ever you know get the you know i'm, I'm almost at uh 1500 subscribers 100,000 views um uh it just <laughs> i might have lost for words uh yeah kind of hard for me to be lost for words anyways Appreciate y'all. Um, check out my cooking videos on Wednesdays. Those are real popular with a lot of people. Uh, thanks for checking out the mechanical videos here. Uh, don't forget about the Sunday live streams. Um, kind of a weekly recap. Uh, talk about whatever's going on. Uh, lots of other channels come in. We talk, you know, talk with them, see what's going on with them. Uh, what we got going on in the shop here. Uh, and if all goes well, guys. We will be doing some pulling this year. Um, I know I said that uh, before, but uh, uh, Twisted V Twin Garage, uh, he got hurt at work, so we couldn't go the last weekend. But he's doing on he's doing better now, and uh, I got Plan B uh, ready to go. A uh, couple little things to check on it, uh, and we'll be heading down. We'll be heading down south and uh, doing some pulling. Uh, looking forward to bringing you guys those videos. So. Uh, all right, I'm done rambling. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you on Sunday night.